Hey guys, Bruce here with DIY Homestead Projects. Welcome back. I'm going to go over some settings for mild steel with the Primeweld TIG 225X ACDC TIG welder. I've had a few people ask me if I could do a video on this, so this is the video for you guys. And I'll tell you what I know and what I've learned about the settings since they're all analog and there's no digital settings except for the amperage. So let's have a look at the front of the machine and we'll go through the settings for again for mild steel on the Primeweld TIG 225X. It can be kind of confusing and it was a little overwhelming. When you break this down for mild steel it's actually pretty simple. First off you've just got the uh, amperage readout. The next one you want to make sure you're on TIG. MMA would be for stick welding. The next one is AC or DC. Since we're not doing aluminum, we're using this for mild steel. We're going to put it on DC for direct current. These two knobs are associated with AC, so they are not needed. They're irrelevant for mild steel when you're in the DC setting. The next row of buttons is one of two things, 2T or 4T. 2T is used if you're using a foot pedal. 4T is if you're going to use that finger switch that attaches to your torch that comes with the machine. I'm using it in 2T which is for the foot pedal. So when you've got this set in 2T, the only thing that applies out of these five knobs is the welding current. I just use the basic rule of thumb, so one amp for every thousandth of an inch. Generally speaking, I'm welding on 1 8 inch material, and in that case, that's 0.125 thousandths. So I set the machine for 125 amps. Now there's a lot of different variables here and techniques depending on your skill level and what you're trying to accomplish. Now some people will set that for 40% higher, 30% higher than what's required, so you have plenty of available amperage for that particular thickness of steel. So the next row, as you can see, this is all grayed out for these two knobs and that's connected to your pulse setting. So I'm not going to go over any pulse settings. We're just going to weld standard welding. So this pulse switch setting is in the bottom. So pulse is off. These two are irrelevant. That only leaves these three to deal with. Pre-flow, post-flow, that controls the gas, and then base current. I just leave base current on zero. My pre-flow, I don't use a pre-flow. I'm trying to save gas. I'm just practicing. My welds are not that critical. Uh, a lot of people will say that it's not necessary for mild steel. Some people use a little bit. I just leave it on zero. And then the post-flow, how long does your gas flow after you've stop the arc. Generally people usually go about five or six seconds. Now if you look at this, and this applies for any of these knobs in the settings, this range is from zero, you can barely see that, maybe you can't see it in the video, but zero to 15 seconds. And that red line around the outside circle there is divided into four separate sections. There's a little black tick mark there, one in the center, and one over here. So each section is approximately, divided to 15 by 4, approximately 4 seconds per section. So this first tick mark would be 4 seconds. This center mark would be 8 seconds. 12 seconds, and technically 16, but it only goes to 15. So I just use 4 seconds roughly. So if you use the first two, that would be 8 seconds of flow. I like it around 5 or 6, so I back that off. The, this would be 4 and 8, so 6 would be right in between those two tick marks, or pretty darn close. And I use that for all of the settings, except for current, welding current, you know, you've got your readout, so you don't need to worry about the tick marks on the dial. And that's it. Basic settings for welding mild steel on the Primeweld 225X ACDC TIG machine. Just to recap, so we've got TIG, 
DC, set your current. General rule of thumb that I use is one amp per one thousandth of an inch. I'm using a foot pedal, so I need to be on 2T, pre-flow, and the post-flow, and technically I don't even use the pre-flow. So post-flow, approximately five to six seconds. And pulse is off in the down position. So that's it guys, that's how I set my Primoel TIG 225X machine up for TIG welding mild steel. Just try to keep it simple. Don't let that face of that machine intimidate you with all those knobs. Basic mild steel for practice, that's how I like to set the machine up. I hope this uh, helps you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Think about subscribing if you haven't already. And thanks for coming along on this video to show you how I set this up for beginner TIG welding with mild steel. See you guys on the next video.